Hey everybody, today was supposed to be an unboxing and setup video, but uh, I recorded it and then when I played it back there was no audio on it. There is a glitch on the video camera here and so I went through and set it all up and now um, there is no unboxing. So there are the boxes. We had a shipment from IntelliGel and another shipment from Big City Music in California and we are going to look at the new components and do a little sort of uh, show you what they sound like. So I'll just pan over here to the modular. So the first one I'll talk about is the Livewire Chaos computer. This is a random control voltage generator. It uh, can be synced to your uh, clock or an LFO and it uh, sends out uh, random control voltages. The pattern of randomness can be altered. There's two accesses. There's an X, y, uh, X and Y axis here and there are switches in the middle here. There's two rows and they control the probability of the uh, control voltage in either X or Y or you can turn um, to the center position which would turn the control voltage off so you, you can skip one. And this is can be synced, again it can be synced to an LFO, like we can use a square wave. Um, I don't know that you really need to do that because it has a built-in clock here. Um, you can control both the X and Y axis with these two controls. Um, they can be run as independent frequencies through async mode or you can flip it up to sync and then the uh, both X and Y axis will be synced to the X frequency. You can also put two independent clocks on here. You can have LFOs running different frequencies um, or you can actually sync in a MIDI clock and have it run with your uh, audio workstation which is what I currently have set up. What this is doing is uh, is sending um, some control voltages to my other units. Um, so the other next unit we got today is the uh, IntelliGel Spring Ray Spring Reverb unit. The uh, unit comes with three springs. They're actual yes, they're actual springs. If you don't know what a spring reverb unit is. Um, if you know someone who plays guitar, or if you've ever played guitar before, typically on an older amplifier, uh, you will, like an old Fender, my friend had an old Fender amp, and if you knocked that thing around, you'd hear a spring rattling in it. That's the spring reverb. This is exactly the same technology. The spring reverb units are mounted, actually, to the inside of this unit. We have a large spring reverb screwed in to the bottom of the unit here and then there's another one below these um, synth components. And you can switch between the spring reverb units with this uh, switch here. There's three tanks uh, and you can change, uh, manipulate dry and wet signals. You can run an LFO to control the dry wet mix or control the drive. Um, get some pretty cool effects, particularly in sort of percussive kinds of sounds with this. And then uh, I wanted something to make the random control voltages coming out of the chaos a little more musical, which is what the third component is here. Now that is the U scale, and this will send uh, whatever notes and only the notes that you tell it to send to your oscillator. So. You can tune this to a number of different uh, scales um, that are pre-programmed or you can just sort of customize your own. And uh, as you can see, the control voltages are uh, being altered depending on which green light is being lit here. That's the note that's being sent. So those are the three new components we have in the synth today. Um, so I'll just, uh, I've got it all up and running here in Ableton. We'll just get uh, get this rolling here. I'm going to uh, start off with a dry signal. Uh, bear with me a second. I just need to make sure everything's dry. And here we go. We're going to 
turn up so this is coming out and uh, it's kind of running at 125 beats per minute it's running on uh, the gap saw setting in percussive mode uh, on the shapeshifter and percussive mode on this unit will uh, when you've got the um, unit sync synced with the gate in this case we have it synced with the gate of the chaos computer the unit will actually create a simple a simple envelope for oscillator one which is coming out of there and so we have a little short decay on there a nice little percussive sound so that's uh, that's what's going on there and I'll show you the spring reverb unit here, which is currently set up on the largest spring. So I'll turn up the wet mix here. Turn up the feedback. Switch to the medium tank. It's a bit more of a throaty kind of reverb. And then finally the U scale. So you can change the uh, notes. So I'll add a little delay onto this on Ableton, get some cool effects out of it. I'm gonna change that scale a little bit. Now we also have a second oscillator running out of the shapeshifter, which sounds like this. So this one's actually coming out of the uh, binary port, um, which is even more random. It's not really synced to uh, the same gate. It's a different gate. You're getting only some of the signals through this one, so it's, uh, it's a little less frequent, but still random. And we can run both of these at the same time. Sort of a nice little bass punch going on there. We got a little drum going here. So there's the uh, three new, new units.